All right, hey everybody. And today we are gonna be putting on the Chris Brandt uh, Lock and Ride Flyer Bag from Polaris and Chris Brandt's Backcountry. Uh, the bag's actually made by Ogeo, or Ogeo, or however the heck you say it. Um, feels pretty darn nice, feels pretty sturdy. Uh, I'm not sure if it's waterproof or not. Heard some people saying, Kind of other people saying no, it le leaks like a sieve, so we'll see. But yeah, that's the flyer bag, which I think is plenty big. Um, I was debating the other one, but I think that would be too big. So I got the mounting hardware right here. We'll take a look at that and then start putting it on. All right, hey guys, turn this around quick. Uh, so to install these, I got two done already, but I'll show you how to do one of them. Ahead, open up your bag of parts here. Make sure you get them all out. And we're going to take the T post or tunnel post here, and then we're going to take this piece here, slide over the top, won't go all the way through. Then we're going to take the grommet, which is right here, put over the top of that, slide it down to the base. And then once we have the grommet, we're going to take a washer, put over the top of that, then it's time to get the bag. Which I better move my knife. And slide it through one of your uh, tabs here from the bottom side. And once you do that, you're going to want to put the, uh, put the other washer on here. And once you get the other washer on, you're going to take this handle Slide that down over it, take your nut, put on here, make sure you get the thread straight. And just go ahead and tighten that up. Okay, there we go. And then go ahead and put your uh, cap on. Just push down really hard on these. And there we go. And there you have it. Alright, uh, one last piece of advice for you guys when you're installing this and you're installing your hardware on here. Uh, make sure each handle is aligned the same. So if this handle is pointing back this way, try and make sure your tabs are running this way so when you lock it, each tab, you know when your handle's sideways, the tabs are locked. See what I mean? So both these handles are straight up and the tabs are straight. So to do that, you just pop off the cap, take the nut off and then hold this straight and then you can adjust your handle for whichever position you want it in and then put the nut on, tighten it down. So I got all four of mine the same way. That way I know I'm not trying to guess where this tab is at. So, just to make life a little easier. So here we have the Chris Brandt flyer lock and ride bag all uh, put on and done. Along with T-handles. Everything's on there sturdy, you just twist it and pops out. I'll show you. Twist it, pops out. You gonna mark up your tunnel a little bit, but whatever. We're here to use them and ride them, right? Uh, need two hands probably to get this back on here maybe or not there we go cinch down again um, but yeah here's the actual bag so got a little pouch right here I'm not sure if that's for a shovel or what that's for I could maybe turn this bag around the other way but I want it like this um, then you open it up you got a pouch in here And we got a compartment over here. That's a little divider wall. And you have another little divider wall basically here. It's not attached at the bottom. A um, couple little straps here. Not sure what those are for either. But yeah, that's the uh, flyer lock and ride bag. 
I think it looks all right. Not too bad. I'll give you guys an overview. Looks pretty decent on the sled. Not too big, not too small. So, all right, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, favorite, like, share, and subscribe. And check out my channel for other videos. All right, later guys. <laughs>